I'm uh, Dean McCannell. I have been professor uh, of environmental design in uh, the University of California for many years. I had almost my entire career, very unusual in the United States to spend 35 years in one university, but uh, I was working in the applied uh, uh, areas where we were training uh, community activists, uh, and uh, so it was very compatible for me, even though I'm known more for theory than activism, uh, it was a very good uh, relationship. Uh, so uh, as far as the film noir is concerned, um, I work on uh, many different types of art and architecture, uh, critical analysis of art and architecture, but not in a conventional art criticism way. Uh, I, uh, I'm only interested in art forms uh, if I can respect the kind of wisdom that they contain that will make our, th our academic theories and understanding better. So the transfer of knowledge for me is always going from uh, the art or architecture or design to the academic theorization or the, uh, the way of, of, of promoting activism. So I was working uh, for the applied part of my uh, academic life on the problem of homelessness. And I did many studies of homelessness, uh, not widely published like the other uh, books and articles, but more for local uh, foundations and uh, people that were trying to uh, resolve issues in this area of homelessness. And uh, so I was asked uh, to reflect about that in a more theoretical way. And I saw a film, I was seeing, I love the movies, and I saw the film noir uh, from after World War II, and I was looking at the scenes in the streets uh, and in the hotels, the, we call them CD hotels, very poor, the bare light bulb hanging down and a, just a bed with a mattress and a basin of water. And I, when I saw that, I was saying, you know, if we had space like that today, the homeless would have a place to live. Uh, they could afford to live in one of those spaces. But all of that space is gone. So that caused me to ask, what can film noir teach us about the society uh, and the, uh, the uh, complex uh, conceptual issues uh, that have resulted in homelessness? Uh, can I go back to those movies and learn something that I can't learn from academic uh, uh, books about homelessness? Is there, are there secrets contained in those movies that will help me understand the problem I was working on better? Uh, so that's where I began. And uh, that's why uh, homelessness and the film and noir, uh, like that.